Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my creative journal. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, thank you guys again so much for coming back. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back if you're returning. Again, my name is Brandy Janae, and on this channel, I do primarily budgeting because I am a cash-based budgeter on the road to financial freedom, and I love playing savings challenges and games to make that happen. But I am also a planner girl and a teacher. So all of those content things are on my channel. So if you're interested in any of those, please be sure to subscribe and stick around. Okay, so this book is what I'm calling like my creative journal. I pretty much just kind of put spreads in here, especially when I'm feeling like, I'll show you just for an example. When I'm just feeling kind of like stressed out or, you know, some kind of way, <laughs> I just like laying out just mock spreads. Um, and so my friend May, I'm actually going to use this one because I'm like, why is this one blank? Okay, so my friend May over at Black Mountain Plans sells these beautiful stickers. And she was in the process of making a vertical Happy Planner video, which is like, 100% out of her wheelhouse <laughs> and I was just like oh like I'll do it for you so here we are so here is the kit it is kit number one and isn't this beautiful like I just love 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 the artwork in this kit I think it's just so beautiful and it definitely makes me want to go to the beach so these are the pieces that I have. I'm hoping that these all go with this kit, but if not, I'll make it work. So I'm thinking what I would like to do is I kind of want to frame the bottom. because I can. And May stickers are perfectly removable, which is amazing. Her stickers are also always true to size, depending on what planner you purchase them for. So if you get a Hobonichi Cousin, you can bank on the fact that the Hobonichi Cousin stickers are going to fit in the boxes or lines or whatever perfectly because that is just May. <laughs> she measures and then measures and then measures again. So you don't have to worry about sizing. Uh oh. I just got this from Dollar Tree, so I don't really know how to use it. Okay, so don't push it up too far. And I know that they, I have like washi cutters and stuff like that. And they work, to me, washi cutters work better with paper. They work better with paper than they work with anything else. So I prefer not to use them. Okay, so I do have this box and we're just kind of going to center it here okay now the full boxes I believe were designed to not fit perfectly in the spaces so that you could still have room to write or layer should you choose to do so That's good. 
which actually works perfectly for me. Love that. And then I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, but yes, as you can see, they are the right width. that do I like that I don't think so okay hold on let's let's scoot okay I like that a little bit I don't know, I can't, it's like I can't get it to lay down straight. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> and I'm not really feeling the best. I was actually going to just put in the community tab that I would be skipping this video today. Because I'm just not really feeling all that great. But decided to just power through it anyway. Okay, so there's that. And then let's put this label here. And then we'll put another checklist. On this side, and we'll use this label here. Then That one. Mm. That one there. Let's put that one there. This one. So I want kind of want the torn washi look. Up here. Which means we'll do it again on this side. Love that. 
All right, and then we can put, the only other thing I would probably use which, let me see, do I have one? Mm. The only thing I would probably use are some of these, like the color dots, just so I could put in more checklists. And I don't know what color this is, so we're going to find out together. But... Oh, that works out. So maybe like a checklist here. We could put a checklist here. checklist here the current weather is 46 degrees Fahrenheit with fog today you can expect mostly sunny weather with a high of 67 degrees and a low of 43 degrees at the moment traffic on your commute will feel clear the fastest route takes about 17 minutes via IL-157 and I-64. See packages for Brandy's order for the route today by 10 p.m. containing envelopes and binder pockets. Okay, so then a checklist there. So I pretty much have one. Okay, so I pretty much have one like every day now, which I like. Even if you kind of have to finagle some stuff around a little bit. Sorry about the announcement that she likes to give me at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, I forgot about these boxes. Uh, can we squeeze another box in? Not really. I suppose I could put one here. Not really sure what these boxes are for, but I like them. Let's fit. Two of them in there. Okay, I like that. That works. I don't really like this naked box. I'm not really a big fan of naked boxes, just in case you can't tell. <laughs> just in case. That has not become abundantly clear. All right, let's do that. And... that okay yeah I like a little a little something which means we can squeeze this one in here so that is no longer naked Okay. Uh, I'll leave.
And I think I'll leave the rest of the sidebar alone. Okay, I think this is it. So let's go ahead and pop this back on my disc. And that is it. I love it. I think it's so pretty. So definitely go check out May over at Black Mountain Plans to get you some stickers. Like I said, this is one of the newer kits that she has. And it's blackmountainplans.com. She's no longer on Etsy. So this is one of the newer kits that she has available. So definitely, definitely, definitely go and check her out. Her link will be in the description box along with all of the other important planner links. But while I have you here, I'm going to go ahead and just show you this teacher planner that I picked up from Kelleva Plan. And I am super excited about it. So I did go ahead and grab this from Kelleva Plan and I will be using it in the fall this year. I had grabbed another one and then decided like I really, really, really just wanted this one. So... Here we are. Let me make sure I'm still in frame. Okay, fantastic. So this is the cover page. This is your year. Then we have our perpetual or year at a glance, a box for important dates, our parent communication, which I never use these pages, but that's okay. I'm not sure what this is for, but I like it. <laughs> And then we have like one notes pages and then these are the dashboards, which I think are so cute. And I love as always that her dashboards are double sided and that the calendar is not attached. So thank you again, Heather. So here is our like monthly dashboard page. Then you have your calendar. I love the big bold font mixed in with the pastels. Like I just think it's so pretty. And then this is what the weekly spread looks like. So again, love it. You can break it up into subjects or content areas or whatever if you'd like. I typically just write like across the page. So for instance, I would put like math up here and then everything for math through the week, I would just write across here, just a brief synopsis. And then reading would probably take up these two areas for me. So everything for reading would go there. And then I might even be able to throw some small group stuff in this year. Since I have a big, last year I was working with a like classic size planner. Um, and then of course you have your Saturday and Sunday, which you can either leave or you can wipe that out and put some other things in this section if you don't want your weekend on there. But I do like that there's a weekend option because sometimes I might be like going to a conference or whatever and we travel back on Saturday and I may want to notate that. So I do like that. So all of these pages look the same. Then we go into August. Oh, and then at the end, you do get another blank page for notes. So here is August. September. October, here is November, love the paper clips, <laughs> binder clips, so cute, December, January, and like I said, this is the big, so I can take my staff meeting notes and things like that and just punch them and put them in here, which is why I do like using the big uh, disc size, just because it makes it a little bit easier to keep everything organized. I typically do not keep the entire year together, although last, well, this current school year, if you've been following me for a while, then you know I accidentally threw away the second half of my planner. So I either A, <laughs> am going to keep it together in the fall or B, I'm going to be keeping the second half of the planner at school versus at home like I did this school year because, yeah, definitely don't want to accidentally do that again. But it does get rather bulky to have it all together. So sometimes I do like, you know, taking those pages out. And like, I'll probably take out June and I'll probably take out July because we don't go into school that far. And even if we did, I would be upset and I'd probably just write on notebook paper. 
because <laughs> I'm not doing any lesson plans in June. Um, and then July, any planning that I'm doing will be for me because I don't do like summer school. So I won't have like a schedule. So that'll be two months out of here that will probably come out. And then in the back, we have like our grades, which I like this to be able to put dates in on when these things are due and even like parent teacher conference schedules. I think that's great for this page. And then we have like all of our checklist pages. So I feel like, oh, I was going to say, I feel like I need more of these, but I did get more because I like to put like reading, first quarter reading, second quarter reading, third, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so here is this, which I love. But because I just remembered, because I wasn't sure if I would have enough, I did purchase this like tablet. I hate that it's black and white, but it's okay. Like it'll still work. And then it has this dotted side. So this is where you would punch it over on this side and then put it in your book. So I do like having all of these extra pages. So even if I decide to switch planners next fall, I still have this that I can utilize for that back section. So that's nice. And then I also picked up the sticker book that matched. So you have your holidays, two pages of those. Here are some other like teacher words, parent teacher conference, summer break, no school, early release, IEP, 504, all of those things. Some more school words, grade, papers, report cards, progress reports, two pages of those. Some events at school, open house, field day, class party, snow day, 100th day. So just a lot of different things. I like the sick day ones. Um, some more testing, quiz, exam, beginning of a year, minute of a year, ending of year assessment. So those are cool. In case anybody was wondering what the BOY, MOY, and EOY. <laughs> I've seen a lot of flip throughs of these, but I haven't really seen any teachers do flip throughs. So they always just say BOY assessment. And I'm like, I wonder if people know what that means. Then we have our subject area. So reading, writing, math, science, electives, A day, B day, schedules. Those are different schedule types, which we don't have those. And then we have a lot of these little periods for our teachers with the older students Lesson plans, learning targets, preps, a lot of scripts, which are fantastic. Lemonade copies by school supplies. These are great. I can almost see myself making these into using these for like dashboards, like making some laminated dashboards so that I can write on them. Then you have some big boxes. These are, of course, in paper. Two pages of those. Then you have, I guess these will be considered like quarter boxes. I love these that are already kind of labeled for you so you can write information about that in here. And I believe these will go in like the monthly calendar. Then you have some full boxes and these can go in those side spots that I was showing you where I said you could put your subject area. So that's cool. So two pages of those. Then some different ones here. You guys, I am so stuffed. My nose is so stuffy, it's driving me crazy. And then we have these full boxes, I guess, here. They are so pretty. And then these have quotes on them. I think these might be like some of the same quotes that are in on the covers. And then you just have some like clear deco stickers. So although I loved this planner... I actually really liked the other sticker book better. So I got both of them. <laughs> so this is Seasonal Teacher, also by Kelly Plan. Because I just thought it was fun. So here's July, which again, I won't need in this particular book. But I can use this in my regular planner. So you get all of these. And then I'm assuming this is probably for August which yes to the coffee. And again, this book is really cool because even if you don't use it in your teacher planner, like you can totally use it just in your everyday planner. Love this for like September. Here's October. And I love that each one comes with the stickers and then the coordinating boxes. November, that's a fun color palette. 
So yeah, I don't even know if I'll use these in my t-shirt planner or if I'll just use them <laughs> in general, but I do love them. Again, another really fun, non-traditional color palette, which is nice. So pretty. January. February. Here's March. I kind of wish, I, only because I feel like, now that I'm looking at this, I really wish that all of these stickers were on paper because I don't like the color differences between, and this is just my personal opinion, but I don't really like the color differences between the paper stickers and the clear. Like, I just wish they were all on paper. Here is Easter, or April. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that. Because I feel like, although the colors here are, I guess, probably more vibrant, they would coordinate better with these, or match perfectly <laughs> with these if they were all on white paper. I'm like, sometimes clear paper is awesome, but most of the time, honestly, I just prefer the white paper because I feel like it just makes the coloring better. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm explaining that right, but that's just how I feel. <laughs> and then back here, you have some more like of your words. So assembly, pep rally, social studies, writing, history, math, spirit week, field trip, trip, blah, blah, blah. So two pages of those. IEP meeting, weekly standards. I like these. Students will be able to. Um, lesson plans, faculty meeting. So you get two of those. And then that is it. So yeah, I like I like the other sticker book better. <laughs> I mean, I like the planner better on this one because it was a little softer in color, but I definitely like this sticker book better than this one. So there is that. So anyway, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, definitely go check out May over at Black Mountain Plan so that you can get some stickers for your planner. I promise you will not be disappointed. And that is it, you guys. I'm going to go and take some medicine and get ready for work. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet. Be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.